Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Renaissance and today let's talk about the CK1 perfume. So this one belongs to the same series of Calvin Klein. It's a bit different from CK1 Shock as I previously discussed. CK1 is a unisex perfume which can be used by males and females both. It's not that much long-lasting. It's um, it's dull in a performance, but still worth to buy, worth to use it. It's a bit expensive than CK1 Shock, but still do try at least once. Its top notes are lemon, green notes, bergamot, pineapple, orange, cardamom, and papaya. Whereas its middle notes are lily of valley jasmine violet nutmeg rose and freesia while its base notes are green acad musk cedar sandalwood oak moss green tea and amber so its fragrance is a mixture of multiple scents like top notes consist of citrusy juicy and fruity fragrance whereas middle notes consist of um, mixture of lots of flowers like jasmine, rose, violet and others uh, whereas uh, the base notes consist of musk, cedar, sandalwood and amber. So do try it and let me know in the comments below that how did you find it. Don't forget to subscribe this channel, recommend it to your friends and family. I'll be here to bring you most beautiful reviews of most beautiful and famous international brands of perfumes which are very much uh, affordable in the prices not very pricey but still worth to buy and very much uh, useful at, at least once in your life so hit the bell icon so that you may be notified with every new video which comes next and uh, like, share, and subscribe for more brands to come. Uh, I'll be here to review each and every brand and best of every brand. I will not review every perfume, but best of every perfume of every brand, I promise you guys. So don't forget to comment after using this that how did you find CK1? CK1 Shock and Eternity perfumes so that I may be motivated to bring you other videos of other brands and I would like you to use it at least once in a lifetime. Thank you. Bye bye guys. See you next.